Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to install Fast Boot and ADB on your Windows PC, no matter what Windows version you have. Using this method, you are guaranteed to always have the latest version of Fast Boot and ADB. And of course, as you may or may not know, Fast Boot and ADB are simply command line utilities that allow you to manipulate your Android smartphone for the purposes of rooting, unlocking, sending and receiving files, and much more. So let's dive in and find out how to get these things on our computer. All right, so the first step is to actually go to this website right over here, and the link for this website is going to be in the description below. So look at the description, click the link, and go to this website. All right, so once you're on this website, you're not going to download Android Studio because you're not actually writing an app for Android. If you were trying to create an app for Android, then you would get the Studio, but you're not. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and click Download Options, okay? And all you want is Command Line Tools. So you're not even going to get this one over here. You're going to skip down below where it says Get Just the Command Line Tools, and then of course we're on Windows, so you're going to download the Windows zip file for the command line tools. So click that, uh, just agree to the terms and click download. It's gonna take a couple of minutes depending on your connection. And once the download is complete, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So here's my download file right over here. And what I recommend you do is, I recommend you download 7-zip, which I'm gonna use to extract this file. 7-zip is very fast and it's free and it's a zip extractor. So let's use the 7-zip to extract this uh, archive at the same location where the zip file is. So let's just do extract to its own folder. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to extract this. Again, depending on the speed of your computer because there's a lot of tiny files in this uh, archive. All right, so as you can see, the extraction is complete and here's a new folder. So let me quickly show you exactly what to do to get the platform tools folder. So what you want to do is click, uh, open that uh, folder right here, and this is what you're going to see. So click on Tools, and then scroll down, or just look for Android, and simply double-click on Android. And then you're going to see the Android SDK Manager Load. And then go down here and select, uh, select actually click Deselect All. So everything here gets deselected. And then simply on the top, under Tools, click Android SDK Platform tools. That's all you need. So make sure that is checked. And then at the bottom, you're going to see install one package. So click that. And then over here, just accept the license. All right. When this uh, pop up appears, accept the license and then click install. And then just give it a couple minutes. This is going to be very quick. Once the installation is complete, at the bottom you will see downloading packages. You may also see a window like this, which is sitting on my other screen. So if you see this, don't get confused. It is normal to, do, to see these things. Uh, so click close and exit out of this Android SDK manager. And let me show you where the fast boot and ADB reside. All right, so we're almost done. So all you have to do is go back to the main folder and now you will see the platform tools folder right over here. And again, if you exit out, and if you just double click this, you will see these new two folders, the temp folder and the platform tools folder, which was not here in the beginning. In the beginning, all we had was the tools. Now, if you click this guy, here you have your ADB and fast boot. So as you can see, here's fast boot and here's ADB. Now, how do you access these command line tools? All you have to do is press and hold shift on your computer and make sure your mouse is within this white space somewhere and right click on your mouse and then choose open command window here. And that's going to make sure uh, when this command window launches, it gives you access to use ADB and fast boot. So make sure uh, wherever you put this folder, you can even take this folder right here. You can take this platform tools folder and you can put it separately on your desktop just for convenience. Okay. So let's uh, do it that way. Let's exit this out, launch this. Here's the ADB, here's the fast boot. To access and use these guys, press and hold shift on your keyboard and right click within any white space and use open command window here. And that's the command window right here. 
and that's basically all you need from here if you need to you can start running ADB commands right on the spot so you can type in ADB reboot bootloader if you have a phone attached to your computer that is so you have to attach your phone to your computer using a USB cable and you have to make sure USB debugging is enabled under developer options on any phone that you're trying to run ADB commands on and once you do that you can start running ADB commands and if you boot into the download mode or the fast boot mode you can actually start using fast boot commands no problem now if I try to use a fast boot command right now it's not gonna work because my phone is not attached to my computer and is it is not in fast boot mode but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about now one more thing I just want to clarify is if you have any recovery um, files that you want to send to your phone such as TWRP recovery or the clockwork mod recovery all you have to do is put those files also in this folder so you can use this folder as a central location to manage everything okay so if you press and hold shift on your uh, keyboard right click and open a command window here then when that when that command window appears uh, you can use this area as the central location for sending and receiving files from your phone for routing purposes okay so if you download the super su file you can put the super su in this folder and then you come over here and then you can issue the commands uh, per instructions for your particular phone but that's all there is to it that's how you get the latest version of fast boot and adb on your windows pc and just one final thing once you get this platform tools folder over here you can actually delete this you don't need this or this so you can take these guys and you can send them into the trash can uh, but you can keep this for all your adb and fast boot purposes well thank you for watching this video guys make sure you subscribe to Saki tech and you have a fantastic day if you do have any questions comments concerns just drop them down below as usual